Today, guys, welcome back to another ATS truck review. And I know I've been filming a lot of these lately because I'm trying to do all the unique builds I can come up with on the top of my head. Now, today, as you can tell, we're in a Peterbilt, and this is a truck that runs in my family, literally. So my dad works for a place called Sunbelt Rentals, which, as you can see, is donning this uh, the paint scheme and stuff of an actual Sunbelt truck. This is actually the model of truck my dad drives in real life. Now, there are some minor differences, for example, the chrome bumper, the American racing wheels in the front, <laughs> um, and the fact that this is a six-speed manual. My first time in a six-speed truck for a review since the Volvo FH I did in my second truck review. Um, I love this thing to death. I've always, ha I've always had the 579. In fact, on my main account that I used to play online with, I actually have a 579 with well over 200,000 miles. So... Today, we're with this 579 that's running a 600 horsepower inline six turbo diesel, uh, as all semis in this game are. This is a six by four. Flat, it's fully loaded. Let me keep, let me keep that in mind. Let you keep that in mind. It's a fully loaded platinum edition, fully loaded interior. It's got a platinum steering wheel. It's literally as loaded as a Peterbilt can get. So 600 horsepower in a duty cabin is what they call these, the non-sleeper equipped trucks. Is it quick? Obviously yes, in fourth gear we're hitting 60 miles an hour and I still got two gears to go through. I should totally watch out for the guardrail this time. Matting against the floor is what this truck likes. It's quick, it's definitely very similar to say a Mustang in the truck world. It's not the fastest thing on earth. And it likes to hit cops, apparently. But it's definitely a whole lot more fun than a lot of other trucks I've driven. I have so much experience with the 579, it's out of this world how many I've driven. Um, and that this one is just even more special. It's right in time for Father's Day as well. Uh, I'm filming this the weekend of Father's Day. I will tell you, the first gear is a little short. For example, I'm going 25 and I'm in second already. My real life truck, my real Ford Explorer, can hit 25 in first gear all day. So, but this is of course a semi with a extra gear in comparison to my real life truck, which is a five-speed auto. All right, so here we are. We're back at the Tucson course. I know this is the third truck I've brought here, and you thought Tail of the Dragon was bad with both Volvos. I'm definitely going to start bringing more trucks out there, though. Um, I just gotta find some more trucks to, or no, manuals so I can drive up there. Because I love driving the Taylor Dragon with the manual transmission. It's a lot more fun than driving the auto trucks out there. Um, don't get me wrong, the autos I've driven recently, the Scania V8 um, and the 2014 Mercedes Actros, I loved. Uh, the, even the TGX was a good truck. The man TGX XL I drove it was an alright truck. I actually really enjoyed the transmission in that. This, however, is a step ahead because, like I said, it's a Peterbilt 579, which is wearing the livery that my dad's real life truck wears, and it's also probably a lot faster. Um, it's not an exact replica, like I said. If it was, we'd probably have a lot slower of an engine. This is a fully built 600 horsepower monster. I believe this is the Packard engine. This may be a Cummins. I don't know. But we're gonna we're gonna launch it from moderately high RPMs. Here we go. Off the line. Cuts off around 2100 RPM. So it kind of lowers its boost down and stuff. It's totally not that bad though. I'm actually really enjoying this truck. Even though it's not the 900 horsepower monster that say the, uh, that, say, the Volvo is. Or even my, my B&L 670 which is another really fun truck. You can tell this truck definitely likes to be in fifth gear at around 50 miles an hour on the track, though. It's definitely a lot quick, though. Uh, it doesn't beat the, nine, the W900 I drove out here on online, though, like when we had a track event, and the W900 I drove was outrunning the Skodas, even. Uh, the Skoda Octavia, which I'll do, definitely do a review on when next time I'm online. Um... But this is just a ball to drive. I really enjoy driving these Peterbilt trucks. All right, took that corner a little wide. I was sitting the clutch and sent the brake, so me. Here we go. 
definitely tight as crap. Bogged down real good. Here we go, back in the fourth. This is definitely really fun. I'm enjoying this truck. It may not have the shouty, quick speeds of the Mercedes I drove recently out here, or uh, even the really nice exhaust note of the Scania, but this is definitely... No, it's definitely a Porsche direct lift. It's moderately, it's right in the middle. It handles better than the Mercedes, obviously, and able to go about 80 miles an hour, dab the brakes into the corner, and go full out and not flip, like I did in the Mercedes. Um, it doesn't understeer like the Scania. I'm just going to go ahead and downshift into the fourth as I get into this corner, so I can be about ready to put it back in the fifth when I come out of it. Definitely not that bad, but I'm enjoying this truck every second I have with it. Alright, well I think I've had my fun. It's time to check out the interior. Alright, go ahead and shut the truck off the parking brake on. So in the interior in the Platinum Edition, you get a lot of wood trim. Wood trim on the steering wheel, wood on the doors, wood on the dash. I mean, you get literally wood on everything. The seats are really nice looking. Um, of course, you've got your parking brake, which is the uh, yellow one, and then the red. I don't know exactly what that is. I think that's uh, like air brake system or something like that. You got your light switch over there. You get a pretty nice LCD display on the dash and in the gauge cluster, which um, has, I believe, a gas gauge is that bar in the middle. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review of essentially a more race-inspired version of my dad's Peterbilt 579. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.